We just got the biggest, fastest, and most precise plastic 3D printer we've ever had. This is the FX20 from Mark Forge. Let's take a look inside. Look at how big this build volume is. I mean, this is five times bigger than any other plastic printer that we have. We've also got a heated build chamber that goes up to 392 degrees to print those high temp thermoplastics that we'll talk about later. And it's got a heated print bed with an integrated vacuum table. That's gonna allow us to use print sheets to easily set this up and remove prints. We also have three nozzles up here so we can have two polymers and a fiber loaded into this machine at one time. It's eight times faster than any other Mark Forge printer when using default print settings. You know what's crazy is I was able to set this all up myself. We got it in before Boombastic, 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 Boombastic. Pulled it off the truck, uncrated it, wheeled it into place, set up the electrical, and we were good to go. So that's enough talk. I want to get the first print set up on this thing and put it to the test. So let's go do it. Man, look at how big this spool of material is. Now this is 3,200 cc's of onyx material right here. That's four times bigger than what we usually use on our X7 and our Mark II. This thing is a monster. Let's go put it in the machine. So with our FX20, we can print onyx, Ultim 9085, and Vega. Now, Ultim and Vega are high temp thermoplastics, but the biggest differentiator is we can reinforce them with continuous carbon fiber. Now, that's gonna allow us to make parts that are nearly the strength of aluminum, so we can print non-critical structural aerospace parts that would traditionally be made out of aluminum. Now, this machine can hold four spools at 3,200 cc's each. That's 12,800 cc's of material in this material bay. We can also have two of these spools active at one time so we don't have to intervene in the process as much. Once A1 is finished, it'll automatically switch over to A2. Now it's gonna take the plastic all the way up to the print head. Let's go ahead and get the print sheet loaded into the machine. That's it for the setup, let's print our first part. So we're about one day into our first print and this is gonna be an oil and gas part that's gonna test fit and function. It's gonna take about two days and 17 hours to print. Now with this machine, we can also print assembly fixtures, end of arm tooling, vacuum fixtures, custom brackets. The possibilities are literally endless. Oh man, I'm excited to announce that we have a new feature on our website for Mark Forge for the world of additive manufacturing. Now you guys can actually come to our website and you can request a quote and request more information and we will get that to you. When you come through Titans of CNC for your 3D printing needs, you help not only yourselves by getting an amazing product of the best quality and technology, but you're also helping our platform change this industry. So go over to titansofcnc.com, check out our new additive section, look at all the information and hit that quote button and we will get right back to you guys. Thank you guys so much. Additive is in the house, boom. So our first print just finished. Let me show you how easy it is to remove it from the printer. We're just gonna disengage our vacuum, unlock our chamber, and then we can literally just pull this thing right out because it's on a print sheet. It's easy as that. Now we just put it back for the next print. Let's go get the supports off of here. Our pipe coupling came out absolutely amazing. The FX20 is a beast. I'm super happy to have that machine on our shop floor. It's gonna open us up to a whole new world of capabilities. We can print bigger parts that are strong and precise. We're gonna be printing all kinds of crazy stuff, so make sure you stay tuned for more. And I'm also gonna be posting this part on my personal CNC Expert page. If you haven't created a profile, you should. It allows you to showcase your work to the world and connect with machinists all around the world. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll catch you next time.